everyone, welcome back. It's me Asia, and you're watching Asia Savar Vlogs. So today in this video, we are doing a travel vlog to Expo 2020 and exploring all the famous and amazing pavilions. Do you guys know which is the most attractive pavilion in Expo 2020? It's UAE Pavilion. The design of the UAE Pavilion reflects the UAE's identity and pioneering spirit while cultivating a balanced connection between the country's past, present and future. This pavilion is the largest of all national Expo pavilions and is surrounded on all sides by landscape areas with plants. Let's watch a video on the story of UAE. Puzzle Dome for Dubai Expo 2020 is an architectural marvel. The iconic dome structure of Al-Wasl Plaza 
at the Expo 2020 Dubai will provide the largest 360 degree projection surface in the world, offering visitors an unparalleled experience. In 1851, the Crystal Palace was the centerpiece of London's greatest exhibition, the first World Expo. And now, decades later, Expo 2020 Dubai, the first expo to be held in the Middle East, Africa and South Asia, intends to bring together millions of people celebrating human brilliance and achievement under the theme Connecting Minds Creating Future. The name Al Wasl means connection in Arabic and hence Al Wasl Plaza has been designed to work as the central core of the entire Expo 2020 site connecting the three thematic districts opportunity mobility and sustainability providing a focal point for visitors throughout the six month event the plaza has been designed to form a grand urban room a meeting place that creates a shade microclimate unlike anywhere else in dubai Fishing is the main occupation. It is only rocks. And even this kind of rocks is a very special. Like in the daytime, when you put your hand on the, uh, in the in inside area, at the coolest, mm -hmm. similar to the end, it's different a little bit because it comes from the highest point in the mountain. Even regarding to our roof, you can see how we do that roof. Mm -hmm. In this area, we are going to talk about how we make the roof. Please. Guys, in this area, as you see, we are covering the roof of the mountain home. For that, we need what we call, as you see in the board, dune. Those part of palm tree, we just fix it together with the rope and those parts. And simply, we close the roof of the mountain home. On this side, you can see our desert. Actually, desert, it takes up 70% of the country, uh, but because of the circumstances and the dry and tough life, a lot of people, they decide to lift the desert. Only few people are still living in this kind of environment. Even this tent, we call this one home of hair, because we prepare this one from the goats and sheep hair. Please. Guys, our women, they support us before when they have only one job. We called Hinna Tenting. They are working on Hinna. Actually, we are invite ladies, end of this tour, 
to try some if you want. Please. In this area, you can see a real falcon. Falcon is the national bird of UAE. Actually, uh, falcon we are hunting as for hunting. So wherever the falcon hunt, we are cooking in this virtual area. But right now, now in our generation, it becomes a hobby only. Please. This area guys, a lot of people, they ask us, you Emirati guys, why you wear this? What's the reason behind that? This is your uniform, and this is my Bedouin uniform, but why we don't take off this? There is a reason behind that. Actually, we call this one Tarbush. This is the name of this piece. Actually, uh, hundreds of years, when we are traveling in the desert, we are using a camels. Our journey needs four to six days to go and come back. In that time, my wife, she put this one in a perfume we called Al Oud. It's a very strong Arabic perfume. So wherever I go far, I remember my wife. <laughs> I smell this one. So for those people, they think Bedouin are not romantic, we are romantic. <laughs> The Samim place is divided to a three categories, which is the mountain area, desert and falcon, and now we are going to talk about the coast. This is our coast, and from the beginning they decided to build this place to have a rest when they go for fishing or sealing, because it takes two time, two days to three days. Later on, they decided to prepare and build everything related to fishing in this area. Like if we talk about this one as, as an example, this one they keep it deep in the sea with a rope. Once the rope is moving, that means the fish is in and is stuck and they start pulling up. There are so many sizes of this, it depends on the uh, fish you want to catch. Also there is a rude one, which is the old fashioned one, and in Sharta State there is a steel one. They are still using this. Please. This is not the end, but the beginning of exploring new future opportunities. Stay tuned for new videos at Expo 2022.